It's good to see you, and it's good to be seen. What's up, Conscious family and everybody out there in the bully world? It's your boy Libs from Conscious Bully Network checking in with you back with another video. Man, it's Friday. It's kind of boring. I'm hungry. So you already know what time it is. Yeah, man. The dogs is out doing what they do, you know what I'm saying? I just decided I'm gonna fire my grill up. I don't gotta go to work tonight. We're gonna get busy. We got some turkey hot dogs, you know what I mean? A couple pieces of steak, a couple pieces of chicken, a couple burgers, something light. We ain't trying to feed a nation, just something for us to eat maybe today and tomorrow. It's probably gonna be all gone, so. This how we get down, man. Yours truly on the grill, you know what I'm saying? And um, this like a a moment where, like, if I just feel real bored and or if I'm frustrated with life, or maybe I had a bad day today, uh, grilling soothes the soul. I've learned that throughout the years. You know what I mean? I never knew that prior because I would have been doing it if I'd have known that prior. That grilling will soothe the soul. I would have been doing it but i found that out over the years and today is one of those days where i'm utilizing my knowledge because i need it you know what i mean i need that sense of peace so i'm doing that you know what i'm saying and i'm also doing this you know what i mean so get all of it man that fire will clean it out clean it out real good and this right here ladies and gentlemen that's my cool spot you know what i'm saying i'll be seeing people say things like you know it ain't grilled right if it ain't got that burnt on it and i agree with you i agree with you it ain't no grilled food grilled right without that burn on it but you don't want to burn it all up though you want to let it cook first and then put the burn on it. A lot of you guys is burning it up and then it's not even finished cooking and it's already burnt up. And you got me on it under all the burnt skin, under the crispy skin that's not even ready to eat yet. So that's why you utilize your cool spot. You know what I'm saying? So you can let it cook. And once it's cooking thoroughly, then you go ahead and put the burn on it and, and whatever else you're going to do with it. This shit hot as hell right here, yo. One thing I don't wanna do, one thing I don't wanna do is accidentally touch this. Cause boy, that's not a sight that I wanna see. That's probably a sight that y'all wanna see. That shit would be funny as hell, y'all watching this video and I touch that shit and burn myself. What? I'm getting used to it. Shout out to my brother Tyron. You already know for our new grill, which was new at one point. I think the dogs broke that part off, but this shit new as hell compared to this whole thing. To be honest with you, to be totally honest, I don't even know why we still got that in the yard. We need to sit that out on a day where they accept trash like that. That's going out. First day, we get a day, a cleanup day where we can sit shit out like that. That's going out. That thing leaning. The dogs ate the wheels off it. It don't have no support, no nothing. My brother Tyron got us this grill right here. You know what I'm saying? We're very appreciative of this grill right here. I can't wait to Tyron come back over here so we can cook for him on this grill or let him cook for us. And I know that's something he wouldn't mind doing because he's another master chef. You already. I'm just gonna let that charcoal get a little more ready and then I'm gonna start putting the chicken on this bad boy. Right now I'm just letting the uh you know cleaning the grill. 
get, you know, don't nothing clean nothing better than extreme heat or extreme cold. So, a lot of y'all guys out there still rocking with the aluminum foil. I used to be like y'all. It's only two reasons why you use aluminum foil on your grill. It's either you don't know what to do without the aluminum foil, you don't know how to clean the grill, or you're just lazy. Because I used to be that way. And the, my reason why I was using aluminum foil is I didn't know any other way. <laughs> it was the only way I knew. So that's what I did until, shout out to my man C Top. He said, man, get that goddamn aluminum foil off the grill. And I start watching his videos, you know what I mean? Because C-Talk is a master griller, you know what I mean? Shout out to Pop Pop Pose Grill, barbecue and grill, you know what I'm saying? And he's a master, so I just start watching his videos and I start learning. A lot of times, we don't know things, like everything I know from these dogs here, like, you know what I'm saying? People, 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 People be thinking I'm a dog expert, like I know everything about dogs. Bro, I know a few things, and the few things that I do know, I learned it from watching other people's dog videos. You know what I'm saying? And I just stored it up here, and I'm able to share, because each one teach one, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter how you learn it, as long as you learn it. And I learned a little thing about grilling from my man C. Top, you know what I'm saying? I done bit off a whole lot, except for the seasoning, baby. We do our own seasoning and we don't kiss and tell. You know what I'm saying? You just got to taste, you know what I mean? But everything else, man, as far as like cool spots and everything like not using aluminum foil, temperatures, things like that. I learned that from my guy C-Talk, you know what I'm saying? Cause he know what he doing. And um, if you don't know C-Talk and you want to learn something from me, just keep watching me, you know what I mean? One hand wash the other, both hands wash the face, baby. Look at this boy. They over there working on the tub. Luna back there licking on the gate. It ain't much going on. So we just gonna chill out. Nino just chilling like a villain that ain't doing no stealing. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy, he always hanging around me. I got that thing in the cool spot, man. Just let it cook a little bit before I put it directly on that flame. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just let it stay over here and cook a little bit. When I see it getting a little, you know, looking a little bit better than it looked when I first put it on there, we'll start switching it all around. You know what I mean? Without letting all the charcoal burn out. Yeah, man, it's nice out. The sun is out, so I thought I'd pull the Ferragamos out. They just be sitting in the crib all the time, doing nothing, not being warm. So I thought I'd throw them on today. It's like a thousand flies on my trash can. I poured some bleach on the trash can. I don't, I don't think that's working for too long. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get some stuff. If anybody got any recommendations, to, they don't necessarily be on the dogs, but. They like the trash can, so I need to spray the trash can down. I spray it down with bleach when I occasionally. It's nice out here. Oh, the flies is all over the tub. Oh my God, they're all over this tub. I wish I had something to spray right now. It's like a summer day, man. We in November, but it's like a summer day. The flies is out. You know what I'm saying? They coming out with a vengeance. Boy. Luna, you're going to make your mouth bleed. You need to stop that. You need to stop that. I know how to fix that. Stop, 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 stop. Move, 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 move. I need some more water. Put some more water up in here. Boy. 
fresh out of agua. It's time for the re-up. Time for the re-up. Ah, and we rocking with a full tank. A full tank of gas. You know, that water is gas. You ain't got no hydration. You ain't gonna move too far. You need some gas, some fuel. That's what that water is. That water is fuel. Not just for the dog, for you. Drink water. This message was approved by Conscious Bully Network. Drink more water. Please, save yourself. You can't even wait till it all hits the floor in the bowl. You want it fresh out the uh, fresh out the bottle. <laughs> so that's my boy. He want his water fresh out the bottle. That's how I like my liquor. <laughs> Fresh out the bottle. You ain't got to pour mines in a bowl or a cup or nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's my Nino, and that's why he my number one stunner, because he like his drink just like I like my drink. You heard me? You got to add them wood chips. You know what I'm saying? That wood chips give it that extra flavor. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got. You know what I mean? You got apple wood chips. You're going to give it some flavor. You know what I mean? That wood gonna get the burning, and that smoke gonna flavor that meat. I'm telling you, that smoke gonna flavor that meat. that meat out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let that meat get all that flavor. All that flavor. All that flavor gonna be in that meat. Let me close him back up. Let's get some more smoke. I know this YouTube and everything, but I could play the rights to this music right here, because this is my music. Shout out to Agonize, produced by Agonize. Conscious Bully Music Part 2 is on the way. You know what I'm saying? What's she talking about? 